Howdy, howdy. Hope you're doing well. This is just going to be a quick coverage on how to monitor your mix in mono and logic. Um, logic actually makes it pretty easy. Um, from what I remember, Pro Tools doesn't. Um, a lot of uh, consoles or monitor controllers give you the function of summing down to mono, but it's just good sometimes to check your mix in mono because we often hear mixes in mono more than we think. You know, if you think about um, when you're listening back in a room, um, you're not hearing it in true stereo unless you're directly in front of it. Uh, the speakers, that is. Or most iPhones or iPads are in mono. Um, sometimes in a car, you're on one side of the car, so you're not hearing true stereo. It's, it's kind of a it's a stereo experience, but it's not like you're you're sitting there with your headphones. So, uh, and also, you know, mixing mono can reveal a lot of EQ and phasing things. So, how do we do this? Well, it's really really simple. In Logic, there's a little tool called Utility, and if you click Gain, there's a little thing that says Mono on. Who would have thought, right? So as we're listening back here, and that's it. Um, there's also, let's see here. Yeah, you can also do this. This is another trick you can just straight up, see this little icon? You can make this mono and... That's actually easier. <laughs> um, this is kind of the old school way and this is like a fun little new function. So yeah. From time to time, you know, check your mix in mono and see if you can hear everything. Mix it for a bit and then unmono it. It's a, a really great uh, mixing trick to have in the bag. Hope that helps you. And if it is helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. And I hope you have an awesome one wherever you are. All right, take care.